How do you install hard bumpers? The kind that you see on German scissors. Let's talk about that. Whether you're a sharpener or a hairstylist, there may be times that you need to install a hard bumper. Now there's various types of bumpers and I'll be doing future videos, so make sure you subscribe to explain how to deal with the different types of bumpers. There are, the most common right now we're seeing are screw-in bumpers, then we're seeing pull-through bumpers, we're also seeing some moon-shaped bumpers, in my book, DIY Shear Care and Repair, I talk about how to replace bumpers and also how to come up with some creative things if you've lost your bumper and you can't get to a sharpener. But let's say you need to replace the hard bumpers and that looks like this. And I'll hold this up a little closer there. And the hard bumpers are usually on German shears. It can be cheap shears. It can be very, very expensive ones. Um, so you can't judge the quality of the shear by the bumper. Also, the hard bumper is the one that is the hardest to put in, and it's also the easiest to fall out. <laughs> so let's talk about these bumpers, and let me walk you through how to put one in. And how to trim it afterwards. That's kind of important. So make sure you stay to the end even after you see how to put it in because you may have to adjust it to make it um, the tips come together right. So the bumpers aren't as easy as easy as you think. So number one, the purpose of a bumper is twofold. One, it is a little bit of a shock absorber to your hands so you're not coming down as hard and number two, without the bumper, the tips will overlap. Let me pull the bumper out on this shear. This is a very old um, Jaguar shear. And the ones I'm seeing them on the most are Jaguar, um, some of the Fromm. Um, basically, it's German-made shear. So I'm going to pull this bumper out. <laughs> Look how easy that was. I probably could have pulled it out with my fingers. This one happens to be white. Most of the time you see black bumpers. But if that bumper is gone, now you hear the noise it makes, but worse than that, the tips are overlapping. So with the tips overlapping, the sharp edge of the blade is exposed. So if you're going around somebody's neck or you're doing palm to palm, that sharp blade will cut you and leave blood. <laughs> and it's not a pretty sight. So never ever cut with your shears with the bumper gone. There are some tricks to do if you don't have a replacement bumper, but we're going to walk through how to install that replacement bumper. Now, the tools you'll need is, number one, the bumper. And you can order it from us. There may be some other places you can get them. I suggest have some kind of um, magnifier that you can look at what you're doing without having, you know, without having to hold it like my... Uh, magni wand, you just can't hold something like this and see what you're doing. So you need something that's hands-free, a magnifier. I also suggest you may need some pliers. And um, in Germany, what they did to install these bumpers was a hammer, a little small hammer. So we're going to um, look at these. This is the one we're going to replace the bumper on. And that hole just looks really, really nasty, dirty. You see inside that hole? I might want to clean that up a little bit. Rubbing alcohol is always my um, go-to. I spray a little alcohol on that hole and clean it up a little bit. In Germany, they didn't use any type of glue on them, so if you wanted to use some glue to, to hold it in there, um, that's up to you. I'm going to do it just like they did in Germany. And they're going to line this up to the hole and try to push it with my thumb. I have the weakest thumb in the world, so I, you may be able to do this in a much easier way than me. But I'm going to give it a little push with my thumb to sort of line it up. I can't push it in there hard enough, so I'm going to try the pliers at this point. And the idea is to have it lined up level on that hole, not to go in crooked. Now I've got it mostly in, and can you see there's still a little gap here. It's not all the way there. This is the point where I may want to whack it with a hammer. So I'm taking my shear down to my vise, 
If you're having problems with it tapping down in your vise, put a pen in the middle and then tighten it down. That's in there pretty securely. I'm happy with that. Now my next issue, I've got this in good. I think that's not going anywhere. If I were to have a small gap at the tip, which I do, I have a teensy tiny gap, then I might need to either try to press this in a little closer or I might need to trim it off. If you look in the light, you can see it's touching right here at that one little spot right here. So I may want to trim this. And that little trim allows us to hit level. And also, well, the tips are still a little bit of a gap here. But if you want, if you still have a gap here, you can keep trimming your bumper, um, which is your safest, safest bet. And uh, the easiest way, as I said, to trim a bumper, it might be with an X-Acto knife or on abrasives or just kind of go in here with a nail nipper and go in there and trim that down. But that's how to install a hard bumper. Don't like them? Make sure you subscribe because I'll have other videos on how to install other bumpers and this is information that stylists and sharpeners both need to have.